Welcome back to One True Talk here from Campus and Beyond on the beautiful campus of Harriet Truman College. We are here with my main man once again, Cesar Miranda, testing coordinator extraordinary. You notice I keep saying that because from a percentage standpoint, yeah. from a percentage standpoint, uh, Cesar and his team does an excellent job at working with our students. Now, Cesar, we know that City College is just open enrollment. But yep. by way of open enrollment, you, you either have to test in to your yep. courses or you're college ready based on standardized test scores. Um, what's the importance in your, in your estimation as you work with students, what's the importance of this test? Well, in starters, the exam is called multiple names, placement test, entrance exam, which it's, it says what it is. It's a test that gets you placed into classes to start your college, you know, education. So as entrance exam is the first test you take to go into college. Many people are scared. They hear tests, they hear exam. They're like, oh my God, I need to study. I need to do this. Chances are, I'm, I'm, I've been a student before. The more you jump back the night before, the more chances you forget everything. <laughs> So it's important to realize that it's a placement exam. It's not of what you can learn in an hour. It's what knowledge you already have. Mm. So it's better that you just take the exam, have the knowledge that you have, and you're placed into classes that you actually will do well in. You don't wanna study the night before, have all this information, and then you get in a class that you're like, wait, I don't think I'm ready for this class yet. Maybe I should step a little back, you know, make sure what level I actually am supposed to be in. Because the stigma of, oh, I need to be English 101. That needs to be the first thing I do. I need to take this class. I need to graduate quick, 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 quick. It's important to, everyone has a different pace. Take your exam, whatever class you place in, go from there. No one, no one always starts in English 101, but the outcome is always the same. I, 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 everyone I gets to everyone, graduate. Everyone gets to graduate as long as you stay the course. Stick and stay, it's bound to Correct. Um, I think you hit on yeah. a couple of, I think you hit on a couple of different components that there's this huge myth out there, right? Um, the first one you talked about was preparation. I know here at Truman, we have uh, tech prep, which allow a student to kind of sit yeah. down. Is this more about one of the things I heard you mention was it's more about what you already know, not what you can sit down and jam and learn. And so this test prep, is this more yeah. about preparation on how to take the test more than the information? It's a little both. So, you know, they teach you how to be calm, take the exam, you know, don't rush through things. There's a couple things that they refresh you on. So, for example, on your You to refresh you on this, but the preparation isn't meant to teach you the information. If that makes any sense, you know. So it's okay. not like you're getting a free class, you know. No, it's just hey, this is going to be on the test. We're going to prepare you for it, and then you know, just go ahead and take it. No rush. Everybody works at their own pace. There you, know? you go. There you go. I think that's I think that's yeah. I think that's so huge. I've worked with a number of athletes and just students in general. And I think there's a anxiety around this test. And I think what you just cleared up was test prep um, versus what you already know. This test is just really gauging. And so that takes me to my next question, the different levels uh, and really understanding your transition through college. I know that most of us, we want to start college ready. Are there benefits? Are there benefits to, like, I don't want to, I don't want to highlight not starting at college ready courses, but are there benefits to testing into a course that gets you ready for college level courses? Yeah, there's a benefit. I, I know multiple friends who've, started classes taking math that are not college level 
and you, and they're like, you know what? This actually helped me out more in the classes that I'm taking now because if you take calculus right then and there, you know, chances are some of the knowledge gets a little lost. You're like, I, I need the I need the refresher on the algebra. I need the refresher on the multiplications. I need this. I need that. Because once you start calculus class, they're not going to teach you the algebra aspect of it. They're just going to jump into what you should already know. Just like for English, you're going to, you know, if you might have a little too many wrong. If your sentence structure isn't the best and you're in English on one, then I'm not going to go ahead and break down, break that down to you. You should already have that knowledge. And chances are, if you jump right into it, you might, you know, you might get a little loss. They do offer tutoring classes, but in the, in the end, it's, it's better to start off at your own pace. Just like, it, let's say if you're working out, it, you don't, ju you don't just want to bench 150 on the first try. You know, you, you need to, you need to get the great the example. Our first, a couple of 10 pounders. Yeah. Yeah. And in the end, everybody's going to get healthy. Everybody's going to get ripped. <laughs> Long as you stay the course. Yeah, as long as you stay the course. That's it. Here we go. As we yeah go, and go yeah and go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, and like I said, um, I have friends who started lower classes and they graduate and they're great. A lot of them own their own businesses. Once uh, accountant for a lawyer firm, you know, it's you're, everybody's gonna get to graduate. There's no rush. Yeah, you want to finish it before like two or three years, but if it takes you one more semester, that's fine. You don't have to take all your core classes then and there. You could take all the other, you know, the electives where in the end, it's basically going to be the same time frame. Excellent. 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 So let's talk specifics around statistics from an English component. If someone was thinking college ready, <clears throat> what does that number look like on our test system? So college ready? Yes. So, so sorry, say that one more time. You kind of so, cut off a little. Yeah, yeah. No, no, and I apologize just a little bit. The internet. Um, from a I know. I think it might be online. From a statistical standpoint, what score does a student need to be college ready? for city colleges in particular, Truman in the English, in the from an English component. Yeah, so the English component is, it has, um, it's graded as a one, three, six. There are also ESL levels, which Truman is one of the only colleges that does offer ESL classes. Going towards your English 101 path. Okay. So you, you could have a one which places you on the first level three places you at 96 you know not yet english 101 ready but you're on your way and then english 101 which is the six absolutely yeah. and then from a math perspective is it the same concept it's a little bit different so there's more different tiers on math there's you could take your you know your your statistics, your math 118. And then after that, you might be able to do a little better on your placement test where you get up to pre-calculus, going towards calculus. So for the math, there's different tiers and different scores you need to be placed in. But as well, they have your lower level classes where you get refresher courses, help you get ready for college level math. Excellent, excellent. Well, as usual, Cesar, you've done an absolutely phenomenal job, not only with the information that talks all things Truman, but with just understanding the student versus the work that we do, right? How do we continue to empower yeah. our students um, through this through this process? Uh, guys, we've been talking with Cesar Miranda, uh, testing coordinator extraordinaire, runs an excellent, excellent. department. Uh, whether we're virtual or in person. Cesar, do me a favor. If students have questions and they watch this video or parents have questions, how can they get in contact with your department? Yeah, so we have our testing website, which is, if you go under cc.edu, testing resources, 
you'll be able to find Truman and my information is on there. My testing status information is on there. There's uh, there's Zoom link where you can just hop in, ask a question during our office hours. We're always glad to help. Yeah, my phone number is there as well. I respond to every email. He does. Let me yeah. tell you, he does. <laughs> he gets right back to you. I'm, I'm saying like in not even 15, 20 minutes. So that that is appreciated, especially during these yeah. times. Well, with, with, with that said, man, on behalf of President Dr. Sean Jackson, um, I'm, I'm Kiss Allen. We are here in Campus and Beyond. This has been One True Talk with Cesar Miranda, uh, testing coordinator here at Harry S. Truman College. For all things testing, there's the link at the bottom, guys. If you have questions, please, please feel free to reach out. Uh, thank you for taking time today, man, once again. Happy Anytime. holiday season to you and your family and much love. And, to, and we're going to do this together. Always in parting, guys, remember. One Truman.